going on y'all it's jay small reviews here back at it again with another video um once again man quiet as a church mass out here in battle rap it's about as quiet of a month as you are going to come across so i just figured why not throw in some appreciation maybe for a legend i haven't tapped in with on this channel or given much content to and that is hollow to dawn as you can see i am doing a top five performances for hollow to dawn here and there is no other reason for this besides the fact that I have not done a hollow video yet. I know on certain, especially my top 10 battle rappers of all time video, which I'm, I'm sure for any return, returning viewers, a few of you guys have definitely seen that. But one of the most common complaints I got on that was I did not have hollow to non in my top 10 battle rappers of all time. A um, couple other videos where people thought Hollow could be in there for a certain top performance or something of that nature. And Hollow is a all-time, all-time great. Um, for a very large portion of his career, he's probably considered, if not the best battle rapper of all time, in the top two or three in the conversation. Obviously, you can hear by my opinion that's changed a little bit over the years, particularly post-2016. But regardless of all that, this is someone who's still firmly in those greatest of all time talks for a lot of people. And I just figured why not go down this highlight reel and break down what are really the peak performances of Hollow. Um, so you guys know how this works. A couple honorable mentions first, and then we'll hop into the top five. But without further ado, let's get into the honorable mentions. So as I said, starting off with the honorable mentions and at uh, our first honorable mention, kind of representing what a peak Hollow looks like in the most modern of eras, and that is as recent as Hollow Dedan versus Ill Will on Divide and Conquer 2. Uh, I was thinking about putting Hollow versus Geechee on Gnome 12 in here because I think they represent kind of the same thing, but the, everyone says uh, the modern era, the new era, right? And I think many consider that maybe 2016 and forward, but if we talk like 2020 and forward, the turn of the decade, I just think this is the best representation of peak Hollow in in the last you know three to four years in the 2020s um him versus ill will in my opinion is the best back and forth battle he has in terms of even closer battles I, i'd say the only other i'm not gonna say the only other debatable but the battle i would say that's most that's most back and forth kind of competitive that could fit this category is really maybe hollow versus nitty and obviously we all know uh, that's not the most high quality battle right so when i look at this here a lot of people have hollow uh winning this battle personally i, I have ill will winning the battle but it's high quality for many for most of 2023 it was considered one of the best battles of the year and i think uh, there's with hollow you either get wins or sometimes eh, battles as of recently you get a dna battle and eh. you get the k shy battle it's a win you know what i'm saying the source battles is cool um many people have been winning the gichigati battle right which is why i said it fits this kind of same mold as the ill will battle but really good back and forth main event top quality probably his best battle uh, post 2020 i just thought it was a good representation of this chunk of hollow's career uh, on to the last two honorable mentions i want to mention all the way back going to gnome 3 url hollow to don versus sue surf um this is a battle where Sue Surf has an incredible first round. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a, a real light em up first round, and, and it's almost better than the rest of the battle put together. But it is also a battle, Free the Wave, where I think his first is so good, his fans just try to get him to win. Just like run over. And many people, the thing is, is in the building, a lot of people had Surf winning. But in the building, they also cheered for Ernan Ash. Right? They, they did some silly things. And I think as you watch this battle, Hollow's first is not good, and he gets smoked in the first, and he turns around and wins the second and the third. Pretty clear, guys. Um, I know that, I mean, Surf goes in, Earn and Ash, the MMG scheme, which is really worse than Earn and Ash. When we meek, mm -mm. there was a lot of reaching, probably some of Surf's worst writing in those last two rounds, while Hollow writes upwards in a big moment at that, too. He, Surf's even said himself that Hollow was giving him a shot here, kind of in his return battle. Uh, the timeout that trying to play Chris Webber with that time out in Michigan. Crazy. Uh, the swear to God, God about to strike his ass. That was so many crazy things. I had him clearly winning the second, the third versus Sue Surf on a big stage. Not easy to do and why it makes it to my honorable mentions. And as for my last honorable mention, going even farther back, all the way to grind time, we do have Hollow to Dawn versus Awkwards. Uh, similar to what I said about Hollow and Will, you could kind of put Hollow and Pass in here if that's what you want to swap it out with, depending on what grind time footage you like more. He even has the Ilmac win on grind time. Um, but beating Awkwards, for me, he, his name's Awkwards because he's just okay with the words. One of the first bars I heard from Hollow, I'm getting into battle rap that 
that I love. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it'll stick with me forever. Um, and just beating awkward's at this time, a peak, peak grind time guy at grind time. Just a hard matchup considering the times and, and, and knowing how important the battle was and just the way that he handled it, winning it very clearly. Um, even the chopped and screwed rebuttal, some of his most famous lines, you know what I'm saying, come from this battle. So for me, a good representation of all the eras here. Um, even if not his top, top performances, surf, awkward's, it will extremely important to his catalog. Uh, with the honorable mentions out the way, now we can get right into the actual top five performances. And at number five, we go to SM6 main event battle I talked about a more than a few times in this channel, and that is Hollow versus Tay Rock, uh, Summer Madness six headliner. Now I've I very on this channel whenever I talk about it, I make sure to stress that I do have Tay Rock winning the first two rounds clearly. Um, but that has never stopped this battle from being absolutely amazing. Many people do have Hollow winning the battle in all fairness too, so it is worth mentioning. Uh, but it, it's so good. It's what an epic should be. This was kind of that peak plate for Tay Rock where it really felt like this is his top of the mountain god tier shot. Um, at the peak, I'd say, of how of what Hollow was considered to the game too in terms of GOAT status and things like that. Uh, and then you just look at this first round. A lot of people debate the Hollow one the first where I disagree, but his first is still amazing. Uh, take the fatigues off in 2K. I want to see the same energy. Take the fatigues off in 2K. I want to see the same energy. Uh, and then even going past that to his third round, the whole TV remote, sometimes you got to stand up to change it. Um, that I, it was just incredible. Great conceptual writing. You know, you get Tay Rock really just gun barring a little bit more direct than usual and haymakering uh, at Hollow, while Hollow does take more of that broken down uh, approach, that str that strategist approach, which he's really made famous and work uh, immensely in his career in battle rap. Uh, top one of the best SM main events ever, if not the best mess SM main event ever. Nothing but good things to say about this battle for the most part, regardless who we have winning. It is a classic in every sense of the word, and for me, had to make this top five. From there, we can go to number four on the list, and at number four, we do go to King of the Dot, Massacre 2, Hollow to Dawn versus the late, great Pat Stay, Rip Pat Stay. Uh, and this is obviously, you know, the three-rounder battle happening on Massacre, not the one-rounder that happened out in the UK, which was also very good. Um... But Hollow really is great in this battle too. A little bit of a reverse where Pat Stay has that very real talk third. What's the point in loyalty over money if your loyalty is overpriced? Uh, knockout third by Pat. And really a, a great battle all the way through. But in the first two rounds, a lot of people debate that Hollow won this battle. I think it's very understandable. The backstroking line is maybe the most notable one that comes out of this. But overall, since you get Pat and Hollow, similar and even more in a sense like uh, Hollow and Ill Will, it's all around. You're going to get comedy. You're going to get punches. You're going to get angles. You're going to get different flows. I mean, it's a battle that really shows everything. One of the better battles King of the Dots ever had and one of the more important at that. Like I said, many people at the time had Hollow winning pretty clearly in those first two rounds. Might be a little bit more debatable or seeing it or, or people are seeing it as more close over time to the beauty of a classic opinions get to change a little bit you get to appreciate the material but once again we're talking on a big moment on one of the most important leagues similar awkward on grind time crazy main event right hollow versus tay rock on sm crazy main event then you go pat king of the dot main event another fantastic performance and for me another one that fits perfectly onto this list and then from there we can get into the top three which i was pretty set on this top three those are the easiest ones for me to put together but it was about the order and many people might have this one at number one but at number three i do have gnome five hollow to don versus charlie clips um and, and listen kit kat what more do i have to say about this battle Just a candy wrapper with four bars. You would see how easy it is to predict that. Uh, it's really one round that defines the battle because it is probably single-handedly the best style breakdown round in the history of battle rap. It, it sent a GOAT candidate in clips 
kind of spiraling for a minute, right? Uh, the four, the, just the straight prediction of his style and actually making people look at the way Clips rap differently, hear it differently, react differently. And you could see in this battle the immediate effect it took on Clips, and you just don't see that at any point in battle rap that much. He did also win the clip, the second of this battle very clearly, not as historically as he won the first. And the only thing that holds it from being higher, because we know how important this win was, what that first round did to Clips and winning that battle, is the fact that Hollow's third, he gets booed. It's also really not a good third. Uh, the roasting session, uh, comedy elements that went into it just didn't work out that great. And Clips does clearly win the third round of this battle. By, now, by no means is there an argument that Clips won this battle. Charlie Clips lost this battle, um, but I just think there's more dominant wins from Hollow, or even just better perform two better performances in terms of straight iconic performances. I don't think it gets more iconic for Hollow than his first versus Clips. So for those impact wise that want to put that at number one, I have no issue for it. But these next two performances, I just thought across all three rounds were just a bit better. And, and speaking of those two that are a bit better, at the runner-up, at one of the first and earliest URL events, the point that the event does not actually have a name for it, it is Hollow Dadon versus Big T. Same card where we got battles such as uh, Sue Surf versus Young Ill, uh, Calico versus Newborn, and then you get Hollow versus Big T at a time that, once again, like, like of many of these Hollow battles we talked about, Big T was at his peak. This was truly that, that when people tell you about Big T's peak when he was one of the best in the world, Big T was one of easily, no question, one of the top five, if not really one of the top three best battle rappers in the world when he battled Hollow. Called him out, right? And you got grease stains on the H of his keyboard, right? So so this was built up and man, what's crazy is Big T's not that bad in this battle, man. And it's considered a, a hellacious body bag, right? A whooping. And Big T really isn't that bad across all three rounds. But Hollow is just so goddamn good and just kind of smacks Big T up. The straight rhyming of flow pockets, um, the the fat jokes he used on Big T, but but lethally, it's kind of crazy. You know, people would think just here now, oh, fat jokes like that wouldn't work. But if you go and watch that battle, they still work to this day. They are executed so great. On top of that, he's still barring him away. The Jim Carrey mask line is ridiculous. Um, the rebuttals are, are ridiculous. I played Street Fighter all night long, and I never picked Bullrog. You could quote so many different things that Hollow did correct in this battle. It just looks like an all-time great that's hungry. Like, it's just a, it, not that he doesn't give this effort. We're talking about his greatest performances, but you can just see at this time someone who's still building their legacy and, and has the game in the palm of their hands. And, man, he 30'd a, a good Big T body bag, you know what I'm saying? In my opinion, a pretty good Big T at a time that Big T was as good as possible. Um, um, as a, a, as peak as possible as a battle rapper. Not enough good things I can say about this. And for me, really, might be my personal favorite Hollow performance. And I really wanted to debate it at number one. But when you are one half of maybe the best battle of all time, that's going to put you at number one, which is why I do have Hollow Dadon versus Loaded Lux as Hollow's best performance in battle rap hist in his battle rap history, uh, let's say. And may very well be the best battle in battle rap history, as I said. Uh, it, like we said about a few other battles here, and that's the great part of having Hollow Dadon in the battle is that it's all around, right? He's giving you everything. He's giving you the punchlines. He's giving you the angles. There's a little bit of props and theatrics with it. He knows how to perform it and time it well. It's wrapped to perfection, sprinkling some comedy in there. And I think that's just all around eclip eclipses what this Lux battle is, where Lux is answering with that. It's not just a great back and forth battle. There's a dialogue to be had here. There's storyline pieces, the sign up in the back telling Hollow to stop doing drugs. P.S. Don't rush your delivery. Pulling out blackface. So many all-time moments. So many all-time things from an all-time battle. Uh Uh, and I think that you could, Hollow gets the first round of this battle very clearly. I think Lux gets the third round of this battle very clearly. And it comes down to an extremely debatable and preferential second where they both met each other upstairs. Um, it's a mixture of all things with this one. It's straight quality. I think he could stand with any battle, including his big team material, even if you might edge that a little bit uh, in terms of impact and epicness. It's Hollow versus Lux. What more do I have to say on that note? 
and, and, and just everything, man. You know what I'm saying? For, for me, if you can be argued as the best battle of all time, you have to give a pretty all-time amazing performance to make it get there. If you guys great performance off of straight, you know, the margin of win, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not mad at anyone that has Big T at number one, but for me, Hollow and Lux is just too important to the overall hierarchy of what Battle Rap turned into, and for me is the most important and the best Hollow performance of all time. But that is my list here for the top five Hollow Dedan performances. Finally, you know what I'm saying, got Hollow a video on this channel showing me this appreciation where he's getting so many wins or or classics with, with peak versions of his opponent. I mean, there's no better time to battle clips than when he did at Gnome 5 or Tay Rock at SM6, Pat Stay in 2016, Lux at High Stakes 1, at Awkwards when he's prime on grime time. I mean, he's taking all-time greats, but taking them at the greatest of their peaks and for the most part, walking out with favorable results. And you really can't undermine that. And that's why I understand when people have the counter arguments for me about where I see hollow all time or things of that nature. Because these are just some of the bigger wins and performances in battle rap history. Um, but I'd love to hear your guys' opinions down below. What is there any performance I missed in the top five that you threw up there is there something that in the honorable mentions you might switch around or just a performance that you want to mention to highlight how great hollow has been um please let me know in the comments down below I was overdue for a video on hollow and I have no problem just showing appreciation not because he has a big battle coming up not because of anything just sitting down discussing what he's done great for battle rap because why not he's done great things for battle rap and if since it doesn't look like anyone's coming to save us, man. It looks like looks like a cold January out here. Um, so if there is any other battle rappers you want to top five performances for or book them, please, guys, just, just shoot me a suggestion in the comments down below. If there's any time that I'm just going to take a suggestion and run with it for a video, it's probably now while things are as quiet as a fucking church mass out here, as I said earlier. So, you know, please let me know. Any hollow praise in the comments down below as, as well as anyone else you would want a top five performances for a book of golden years. You know, just shoot me ideas, man. But it's been Jay Small Reviews again, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to catch you on the next one, man. Peace.